Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny from Owls Indigo and I make videos about journaling. Today we're going to be talking about how to get your life back into balance. This writing prompt is inspired by the duality of these two cards today. The Otter and the Nine of Swords tarot cards from the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal deck and Regular deck by Kim Kranz, which you can find linked down below. The Nine of Swords centers around the concepts of duality, ending, rebirth, decomposition, deconstructing, grasping, anxiety, slow work, and perseverance. The otter centers around the concepts of life, brightness, happiness, joy, balance, playfulness, no worry, and contentment. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and share this video to grow the Owls and Go tribe. It really helps me when you do. Balance is not something we can get. It is a state of mind. It is the realization that life is not stable, but in a constant motion. Balance is about bringing things back into harmony to promote equality in the different areas of your life. It's something that you will actively manage as you age, or at least periodically check in on. Think about it. Life is in constant motion from birth until death. When in motion, things tend to wobble and lean one way or another, making that feeling of forward motion a little difficult to sustain. To gain back the momentum to move forward, you have to balance. And the way that you do that is unique to what you're experiencing in life right now in this very moment. What is one life balance trait you see in others that you wish you had? Why don't you already possess this trait in yourself? What would your life look like with more balance? What would it take to get you there? Now it's time to get into my journal for my private entry to this exact same journaling prompt. One of the life balance traits that I see in others that I wish I had is the ability to juggle four different people's schedule and keep it all together. I also envy the outward happiness other creative industry business owners have all of the time. Even when I know them personally, and their struggles, it's still hard sometimes to look at them and not think that they have it all under control. This is most definitely a grass is greener on the other side situation. It doesn't feel like I can juggle multiple schedules and always look slash be happy all of the time. I'm constantly trying to actively manage those things on an hourly basis, but I know that I already, but I know that I already have these traits of balance because people tell me all the time that I do and that they wish that they have what I seem to have. Sometimes these are even people I'm wishing that I was more like. The grass is always greener. However, if I had more balance in my life, it would look like me sticking to my routines and habits that keep me happy and able to manage my schedule. I need to foster these foundational elements in my life by watering the grass where I am to make it greener. I need to focus on my life balance and happiness, not that of others. To get me there, I would need to be able to do the two following things. Get to bed on time to be able to wake up with ample time to focus on my happiness and to prep for the day so I know what my schedule holds. So what was your answer to this month's prompt? If you like thought-provoking journaling prompts, then you should definitely check out my two guided journals, A Year of Spiritual Growth and Mindful Goal Setting, 365 Mindfulness Journal Prompts. It includes 365 daily prompts, morning and evening reflections, quarterly reviews, a mid-year check-in, an end-of-the-year review, and a simple visualization to help you see what your goals will look like when you've accomplished them. If you're like me and love tarot and journaling, then you should check out my second guided journal book, The Daily Tarot Journal, Uncovering the Art of the One Card Tarot Reading. It includes three monthly overview spreads, three monthly tarot logs, daily journal pages with eight writing prompts, and three end-of-the-month reviews. Order your copy of both journals today. The link is in the description. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!